Vodafone cares about you and your health. Through our 255 call center, we have empowered Ghanaians from across the country with our unique phone-in medical consultancy. We also bring you HealthFest, where a trained medical team travel the nation giving free medical treatment. But it all started here on your TV screen with the award-winning television program, Healthline. Coming up on this season's finale of Healthline, the street doctor gives blood. And we meet Mavis, the victim of a tragic event. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Healthline. On the show, we aim to raise your awareness about your health to help you make the best decisions for you and your family. Sit tight and join the discussion. My name is Bright, and I'm here with your doctors. Lorraine, hi. Papani, how you doing? Hello, I'm Ruth. We are your hosts for the show. All right, so we have an SMS from Abdul from Buipe, and this is what he says. My father has been a heavy smoker for more than 15 years. He started coughing badly a few months ago. I fear it's something serious because of the coughing. Abdul, it is something serious, okay? He's been smoking for, what, 15 years, right? Let me show you what a normal lung looks like. Normally, your lung wouldn't be this firm. It's actually really soft. It's like a sponge. And it expands to allow air to enter, and then there's an exchange of gases, and then air is forced back out. So whenever you breathe in and out, your lungs expand. It should always remain spongy. Now, your dad has been smoking for a while. Whenever he smokes, he inhales the smoke. Now, this smoke, firstly, is hot. Secondly, it carries so many chemicals that irritates the lining and the cells around the lungs. If he does it for just a day or two, no problem. The lung tissue will heal itself. But he's been doing it for, what, 15 years. The longer you smoke over a period, the more likely you are to get something called lung cancer. He's actually caused so much injury to the cells, they've tried to repair themselves so many times that they've actually lost the plot, so they don't know how to do that anymore and the cells become damaged. That's what we call lung cancer in this case. Other things you can look out for, apart from the prolonged coughing, is that he may start coughing and you may notice a little blood. No matter how small the blood is, it's something to really be suspicious about. He may also start to have difficulty breathing and may begin to experience chest pain. These are all things that can point to lung cancer. Smoking can actually increase your risk of getting stroke, hypertension, other kinds of heart disease, and also what we term multi-organ damage. So it can affect your kidneys, your lungs, and even his ability to perform well in bed. And also talk about risk of infections like tuberculosis and pneumonia and any kind of lung infection because you're already at risk. Abdul, I'm sure you realize that smoking is indeed very bad and something very harmful. It's something we should all avoid. Today we're focusing on blood donation. Now I can't say it any better than what's written over here. It says, give blood, it's the gift of life. On a daily basis, many people in all our hospitals die because they don't have access to the right amounts or the right kinds of blood they need to resuscitate them. We're here at the Church of Pentecost in New Fadama, where the National Blood Transfusion Service is organizing a blood drive. And I am here to do my part. Before donating blood, you must go through a simple screening test that takes a few minutes, including filling out a questionnaire. So this questionnaire is just to make sure that once we are screening you, you've either done an HIV test before or you've had certain conditions before. They want to know whether you've had certain past surgeries, whether you know your HIV status, your hepatitis status, and they want to know your level of activity before and after your transfusion. It's good for them to know so in case maybe something happens, we can easily follow up on you. And then also you sign a declaration stating that all the responses you've given are true and honest. 
Okay. Here goes. It doesn't really take a very long time to actually donate blood. Once they find a good vein, your blood just flows. They ask you to have a refreshing drink before you leave. Drink a lot more fluids than usual over the next 24 hours. And aim for at least three liters from morning to evening. Your blood volume returns to normal within two to three days. That's kind of reassuring. Avoid alcohol until you have eaten. Do not smoke within the next 30 minutes. I would say do not smoke at all if you can help it. Include iron-rich foods like red meat, liver, fish, beans, watermelon in your diet. You can remove the plaster from the needle site after two to three hours. If there is bleeding from the site, raise the arm and apply pressure. Avoid vigorous use of the arm for the rest of the day. If you feel faint or dizzy, you can either lie down flat or sit down with your head between your knees. So you may resume normal activities within 30 minutes. So hey, I can actually go back to work right now. However, if your work involves strenuous physical activity, you could become dizzy. And so you should only return to work a day after giving blood. You can donate blood again in four months after giving blood. So more or less, you can do your blood donations about three times a year. I would encourage you as much as possible to donate blood because you never know who that blood might save. It could be yourself or it could be somebody you know. Okay, so excuse me while I enjoy my beverage and snack. Catch you guys soon. To find out more about blood donation, download the Vodafone-supported app Moja from Play Store. Pachamidi de Evans Boatin, me free and cranza. Me hoga kranza se na e chempa and se na me kwa mpaso me timi anda. Inti na mse, inti na me take sleeping tablet too much. Inti mi huu se eno ya mboa me. Inti ni e se me free for the phone helpline. Se omu mboa me na me inti me enjoy sleeping tablet na me kwa mpaso me inti munda. Na omu de siya yo yo. I am much sure I can be brave. I was so much far. Meet me come pass over that in time. This time I meet me just sleeping tablet. Nini na na chini no me hot or me me down that form. Time me come for water form helpline. Ma obi biya wo or how biya want ya se one problem biya se. First point so obi time me from one. Obi mo advice be brave. In time me damas be brave. Nyame nshere me brave. Water form helpline. Damas. Let's find answers to your child's health and safety on Kids' Corner. This week, we talk about burns. So now you'd want to know what a burn is. It's not just fire. You know, we hear burn and we think fire. But actually, you can get a burn from a whole lot of things. And this injury to your flesh or any portion of your skin can be caused by heat, electricity, chemicals, friction, and radiation. And there are various layers to the skin and a burn can damage some or all of these layers and that just gives the different types of burns. The reason your skin is the way it is shiny and waxy is because of a layer on top of it called keratin. Basically, it's a protective layer. Now, when you have a burn, what happens is this protection is taking off. So you are exposed at whichever layer the burn got to. What it means is you'll be losing a lot more water than before. You are exposed to more infections than before and depending on how much of your body surface area is involved it can actually lead to damage of the kidney it can lead to damage of other organs because it's like suddenly there's a shock to the body and there's so much stress that the body has to deal with and in fact i've seen so many people die from burns so how are some of the ways that your kids can actually get burnt i'll give you a few scenarios you're ironing at home and you leave your iron there, hot and still connected. Your child is playing around, touches it, gets burnt. You're cooking. There's hot oil or hot soup or hot water. Your child is playing around this and then puts their hands or some of the substances pours on them. They get burnt. Put the saucepan away. There's the naked fire. Child playing around exposes themselves to naked fire. They get burnt. Some corrosive substances like acid can cause burns when they come into contact with your child's skin. Some substances also like caustic soda. It looks like water. A child sees this in a bottle, goes to drink it, and this can actually cause burns inside the child. It can burn the child's food pipe, what we call the esophagus, and it can actually even cause burns in the stomach. There are some tips that you might want to take note of in the case that your child is burnt. The first thing is always to take away that 
burning agent or corrosive agent in the case it's an acid or an alkali. The second thing is to wash the area with clean water. The next thing you want to do is to take off the burnt clothing or anything that's on your child that got burnt. The next thing you want to do is to cover the wound or the burn with a clean cloth. Most people use palm oil, they use flour, they use all sorts of things, but these things are not advised. The next thing you can then do is to give your child some analgesia, some paracetamol, and then you rush the child straight to the hospital. Let's make sure that our house is burn proof so that our kids can live a healthy life. Time for Mythbusters, and we have an SMS from Precious, and it reads, can fibroids really be melted with some local medicine? As I keep hearing from herbal dealers in the Trotro that it can. Precious, you know what fibroid is? Basically, it's a tumor, and it's a tumor that grows in your womb, okay? Usually, you're not supposed to have it there, but for some reason, black women like you and I are at high risk of fibroids. In fact, if you're in a room and you look around, one out of every two women you see is likely to have a fibroid. That is how common it is. And basically, what makes up a fibroid is just things that are coming right from the muscles that of the uterus, okay? And they've grown abnormally. The good thing about fibroid, though, is though it's a form of tumor, it is not malignant. That is, usually, it can't spread and kill you. I hear it so many times. Precious, that is a deception. It's a total myth. So now you can answer. I've actually told you, it's a myth. The following segment contains material of an adult nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Sex talk is all about your health and sex life. This is a message from Wiafe, and he says, My wife prefers oral sex to penetration. Why would this be? I'm nervous to talk to her about it. Okay, we have for starters, don't be nervous to talk to your wife about anything, okay? Understand that not everybody likes the same thing when it comes to sex. She prefers oral sex because maybe for her, it increases the level of intimacy. And the fact that she sees that you can do that for her makes her think, oh, this man really loves me. If you're uncomfortable with doing it, speak to her about it. You might think, well, maybe you think the area is not exactly clean enough or something. That's what some guys would say. Let her prove to you that she can keep the area hygienic. At the same time, too, you can tell her, look, if you want me to do it for you, you must also aim to reciprocate. Make it fun. Don't be so focused on just doing what you want. Sex is mutual enjoyment and mutual benefit for both couples. And don't be afraid. She's been confident enough to talk to you about it. So be confident enough to also help her, and you'll see just how it spices up your sex life. We get into our main story after the break. While her story may shock you, it also speaks of the strength that lies in each of us and our roles as supports to the people around us. Let's meet Mavis. Actually, a friend me, Mavis Anita Otima, Mitzi Lapas, my name is Mami Nimi Miyano, and I'm 23 years. I'm going to share Lapas, Dakuma Station. I'm going to share my boyfriend. 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 And see, it's three men in a war no more, and will be catch them and not many, the catch and say many need jay. It's many jay by six months, and no ban of a catch and say, Oh, yare. Now, Busan is a name for any and also your own or call baby. I see men are may and may not go to the schedule. And I'm Busan and say, Scan, when all this soften is safe, or new one son is scan, a beba. And see, or call you know, yet any more so called night light of insane mamma moda, any more than Miss Namini, Mamma Dump back here that day, Marcy. And see, I down on one, I'm it is to be a beep on by any panic beep, none of me say, Mamma, at times, also a full clock, a call, crumb could de, sir, banchy, jan, your man, your man. To be upon me, it is any panic down by a second, no yen. Hm, to me, I say, where she 
I didn't go me sooner. Me started saying me tia tia. Now my mum said, "Then I'm so boy. Now she, I see the go me. Now I see. Now I know on tia. So now me can I'm so body my way. She, I see the go me. Now I see when I'm so we done. In the Nigeria, we say three more one. It is a Kwanza team. What team? We play. 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 None who you know, one who you know, she may pass serious. Tabana, and so by still as a vapor be crampled if you ever. The name to me, feminine, I see, the Bamasan, Hannah. A fan will put twenty money trees you, a gunner so, a gunner so, a woman, a coffee car in my hand in a call, a coroner to a pass police station, and a mamma put in the court to buy. I make a deal almost getting to a car two weeks, not coming out eight months, or one month, and only my beef. I don't know cause with the name of the woman. I don't know if it's any serious. Doctor Nikachi has said, he won't say I did kick it. But as it did not finish, we will be able to keep it six months. Answer. The Jano said that we will come to the woman. Later, when I started to say, I don't know if it's serious. I made them call hospital. Bare one week later, and so I mean, we almost banned Jimmy. And so I almost, almost yeah, banned Jimmy. Three days time, no mass sanity. Three days be on bed sanity, be on that mass sanity. So I need to know every way to come. That very day, now me home and in there, me swear. Now for so many months, now you, now, now me need to cramp with my bed sanity. See me see any more because now me need me now you, now you black. Now for so many months. As I'm here, we say now, now I, who many questions are coming? Now I will come and cast and cast and cast. And then I'm here, banishing my common man, my son, my wife. At now, I'm here, I'm around because I'm standing in a tie. But in a similar life, I'm here, but I'm so near here. And then send your mates as some quantity. But your sad day, we say it so many. And my dream be brave. Meninji, some of us manage a panami boy because Meninji cry or my brabo. And I feel to make me send a mate here, no, so me need that my worry, Munsem, so me to Munsem behind because he say, Mamma, no, come for more gun. Um, um, pray and put crown on my own. If I was saying now, what did them say? No, um, to me, they may dream my worry, that say, beat me up as even quite that you cry, worry, cry, me, and be and worry. Na time you say I'm super even because you say I'm because I go to Musa, Musa because it's it him. Never see you here. We shouldn't have seen you. Musa, or your ba, no way fair. Or your ba, or your ba mwa. Musa ba, you know the jah. Or your nice girl, you know it well. Or my energy. On my your bunk, my yes, you obey us, you say, best three. Energy, you want to be a energy. So, any and temple cramp, now you're fin. So, I'll call quality, we say, did be a genuine son. I did it to men. Many, I mean, I'm for some, many does swing in anime, my mini mini and them. On money, me, on money, me, be a mammy and a corner, but. Bibia may be a mammy and a poor me. Mamma, come and I make us a mammy. Come to come up, brother. Come in, Mr. Gazabu, come on, my drug, and come in, mammy and a mammy. It's down. 
Last Tuesday, no man, mommy, echo for checkup. No, because I'm called Doctor No Hagen. And I'm saying, see, and then I'll beat me. I hear a farming one meets me. I see me daddy. No, I can't beat me. I say, you know, ma'am, ma'am, be catch a ma'am, says, yes, can you? It be new one because I saw me by an ordinary sicker name. I ain't so niske be a one who told me any surgeon and farm. Meaning, Sagana for a mommy, dear. Maybe I mean, it's going to a message. Omo pese, omo so mu, no mu bua o. Na wo operation, no yate se ye operations a hodro bebre a ombe ye amao. Ti voda fun fun se ombe so mu, emu biya wo hia a operations no ombe ye no. Omo beba no ma be so mu ama mo di ni si. Ne mu omo ye wo ho, omo se. Operations ni mo ni ade akoni aba no be hia bibi kitu e bia e be boa o nti ade kitu e bia o mo sign so aye aka operations ni e ho ni nti ka cho e ba cho ni di ka me das da ke se ma buda fun hit line so o ma boa me e o adoya ke se we se na se nka me ni se nya o mo anka me ni ni nka even ni nka e be to me so, so, on my boy, on my man, you need so be sent me to me can any power me can't see as for me. Don't mess with me. I could put in show. Oh, ni ma pa, oh mo ya ma gana ma ni me. We will be following up on Mavis's progress in the next season of Healthline. It's been a great show. Thank you for your contributions. We couldn't have pulled through without you. Know that healthy living is about being smart about your life choices. Think carefully, choose wisely, and stay smart. Goodbye. If you have been moved by the stories or issues you've seen on Healthline, you can donate one Ghana CD by texting GIVE to 133. If you want to donate more than one Ghana CD, please dial star 133 hash and follow the prompts. That brings to a close another phenomenal season of Healthline brought to you by Vodafone. We'll be back on your screens soon.